Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 Ultra Series Battle Series. Could we get more of a mouthful? My name's Lee, also known as Osiris. We're here to finish up the week with this team that we kicked off with earlier in the week, which is Mega Altaria, the uh, the Raichu. I was going to say Alolan Raichu there. The Ladder is Therian, Eveltal, Dustman Necrozma, and the Tapu Fini. So uh, the team is down in the description below. There's a Raw Pist and a Poker Pist. And hopefully... I'm just going to kick straight into it today. I'm hoping things get better because the last episode was it's absolutely dire. Worst Pokemon ever. So I'm hoping we can kick on a little bit in today's episode. At least get two victories to send the team off with. And then I think there's a lot of evaluation needs to be done with the team. And make sure that we're, we're not losing to things like Scoff Tapalele that we saw in yesterday's episode. It was so devastating to us and we, we didn't really play around it as well as we should have we needed that speed control and we just couldn't get it up we're relying on that icy wind support from a type of finny then even after a snarl onto the ultra necrozma it wasn't in psychic train still took us down so things to look at there um to make sure that we've got a better matchup going forward because we get the icy wind off there uh fortunes definitely change especially when we bring our ultra necrozma onto the field um, but as always guys if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel and also leave your comments down below let me know what your thoughts are of this team and obviously just in general how you're enjoying this series being back for a little interim period but um, we're gonna take a little cut because it seems like it's taken longer to find a first opponent than I would have liked to so we'll cut it now and we'll be right back when we bump into our first opponent of the episode and we've got our first opponent, we've got Patri from Italy. So we'll hop straight into team preview. And see what we can do against this, because it is a combination of Rayquaza and Lunala, partnered up by probably what is Mega Lucario, the Tapu Fini, the Ferrothorn, and the Incineroar. So, um, hmm. I'm going to lead Eveltal, Landorus. I'm going to bring Tapu Fini, and... Do we want Raichu here? Or oh, Ultra Necrozma, Duskman Necrozma, or oh, Alteria? Alteria could be decent here, but I think all in all, the Necrozma is probably the better one because it can hit uh, the Finny for decent damage. We can do decent ish damage to the Ferrothorn. The Ferrothorn's going to be a bit awkward actually, so maybe Alteria is the one thing. Just looking at the Ferrothorn, it feels like it's going to be even more difficult to deal with if we've got. Necrozma of anything else, so um, yeah, let's go with these. And that flamethrower is going to be like a lifeline against Ferrothorn, um, so we need to uh, make sure that we're preserving the Altera for the late game um, and make sure that we're trying to get our Tailwind set up early game if we can. We've got to play around the Intimidate support and Fake Out support from this Incineroar that we are going to see come out as a lead here for my opponent. Um, but the Intimidate support from the Landorus is, is really nice. Um, so, we can Earthquake if we would like to. Um, it's not a bad idea, to be honest. We could Earthquake and Tailwind. Um, Incineroar can only fake one thing out. We're not in any threat of getting killed by the Ferrothorn. So, I think it's not a bad play at this point. Tailwind helps us especially when that Rayquaza comes onto the field and the Earthquake even though we are intimidated will still do a decent chunk to Incineroar uh, and Ferrothorn so we'll see the fake out into Landorus there there's the free Tailwind from our Eveltal and there's a lead seed so where's that gone into okay that's fine maybe this is a good time to bring in Alteria to be honest we can still Earthquake again the Ferrothorn's more probably going to concentrate down a little bit more on um, the Landorus slot this turn and because Altera is a dragon and flying type we can still freely earthquake this next turn with the Landorus without any consequences of hitting our own Pokemon so we just got to hope we don't see Gyroball into that slot which would probably do a lot of damage we're going to see Incineroar switch out now we're going to see Rayquaza hit the field which I don't mind too much um, and we'll see what this Ferrothorn goes for uh, we do get an earthquake off, which is decent. We're going to see a leech seed though from the Ferrothorn. Uh, leech seed. Ah, Landorus Voids. Excellent. So that's good news for us, isn't it? Um, we'll go for the Mega um, and we'll go for 
Do I go for the flamethrower right now? I feel like I do. I feel like I do. I'm going to switch out Landorus. So I'm going to bring in Tepu Finney and get our terrain up onto the field. And hopefully we can nuke this Ferrothorn with a flamethrower here. Uh, if we can, that would be amazing. Uh, everything would be good. Because otherwise, we're in a massive pickle. So we're going to see the Incineroar actually hit the field once again for my opponent. Maybe the Ferrothorn protects, yeah. I mean, would you protect? I don't know if you would. Let's see. So, I don't feel like you would feel that threatened in front of an Altaria, unless you expected maybe the Flamethrower. No, you don't. So, there we go. We get it off. So, that's excellent for us, and we should be able to remove the Ferrothorn, which is one problem out of the equation. So, that's good. Um... And Lunala are going to hit the field. Huh. Interesting. Um, okay. We will... I think we'll protect. And I'm going to bring in, back in Evelto. We'll get the Misty Seed activated on our Evelto when we bring it back onto the field. We want to preserve Landorus in the back as well for when that Rayquaza comes back out so we can intimidate that. I think that's the big important thing for us to do once that comes out onto the field. Um... Iveltal obviously does such a good job against Lunala and we're pretty safe going for foul play into that slot at any time because we know whenever that switches out the, the Rayquaza comes in and if it stays in then it takes a heavy chunk of damage. We'll just get around the fake out from the Incineroar this turn with a, a protect there. We're going to see fake out into Iveltal uh, and then the Tailwind being matched by the Lunala now which is uh, our Tailwind pittering out actually so Hmm. We'll go for a Hyper Voice and we'll go for a Tailwind of our own just to match what my opponent's going to do. I mean, the Lunala could go for a Z move here if it's got it. Uh, we are going to actually just see a Protect. Probably going to see a U turn from the Incineroar. Ooh, a Snarl. Ivelto does avoid though. Uh, and Altera taking a bit of damage. And it's Special Attack going down as well. We do match the Tailwinds now. I think my opponent would have been better going for a U turn there. Um, in all honesty. Um, okay, so here's the Hyper Voice. And now we can do that again. And go foul play this time into the Lunala. And if, like I say, if that Lunala switches out, then the Rayquaza comes in and it goes down. Uh, I don't really agree with this play at all because you just lose Rayquaza. Non Hyper Voice is going to come out. Um, you're going to take an absolute chunk of damage and even even with a minus one hyper voice it's still going to be doing enough damage um, and now your Lunala's in a terrible spot and we can close this one up pretty quickly by just going and hitting that perish song button because now we've got uh, the U-turn coming out from the Incineroar which is fine they'll be able to cycle that fake out once again but Lunala against the Veltal not really going to be able to do very much um, and especially if they're concentrating down on the Aveltal or something they want to get rid of before their Lunala is able to function then it does free up room for Altera at the same time to just get this Paris song off right now I think because I do worry about um, well I don't know if I should actually the, the only thing I, could, I would worry about a little bit would be if the Lunala protected and the Incineroar went for a Flare Blitz into Aveltal um, but at the same time, if they do that, then we do get um, a person off. I'm going to see the Z move now come out from Lunala. Let's see, their last turn of Tailwind. It's going to be into our Altera last ditch attempt to try and do some damage. And it's actually into Iveltal, so it's not really going to be doing too much, unfortunately, because of that Misty Seed boost, and we obviously do resist it there. Uh, we'll get the foul player back in return onto the Lunala now. And do some nice damage, not pick up the knockout, but uh, get this pair of song off, and uh, we should be able to close this one up in style, my friends. In style, so we'll see. Flare Blitz into Eveltal. Um, yeah, and this will. Oh, we hang on with one HP. Okay, <laughs> the invisible sash, um, and uh, their tailwind pit is out. Uh, I wonder if we'll just see. I wonder if we'll just see um, forfeit. I will hyper voice and I will go for another 
foul play it into Lunala. Doesn't really matter at this point what we do. We might see the forfeit, we might not. My opponent might play it out. Let's see what they decide to do. That's what they do. That is what they do. They do that. They do that. They do that. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. And that doesn't just happen. If it does just happen. Ah, come on. We fought hard for that victory. The la like the last couple of days, we fought hard for that victory. I feel like we deserved it. This ah, I don't like. I don't like the old, the old disconnect situation. Do you, my friends? I'm sure you don't. But man, it's just salty, salty. No need for it. But you never know. I'll give my opponent the benefit of the doubt. They might have shaky internet. It might have just been a bad situation. So we can't just jump to conclusions like I just have done. So I do apologize to my opponent. Very good game. And I'm sorry if your internet did hiccup and go down. But if it didn't, stop being so salty, man. It's not cool. Um, all right, we're gonna search for our next opponent. I am gonna cut this right now because it feels like it's one of those days where it's just taking ages to find anyone. So we'll cut it now and we'll come straight back when we found our next opponent. Ah, oh, 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 I like magic. We got Taku from Japan, so no need to cut. We're going straight into team preview. <laughs> oh, what is this? Yes, 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 yes. Dragonite, Vulpix, um, Ninetales, Porygon, Whimsicott, Kyogre. Excellent team. Brilliant. I have no idea what's going to go on. Whimsicott's got speed control. Kyogre's going to try and hit things with water spout. We've got um, probably drought, I would imagine, is another weather control on the Ninetales. And the Vulpix, of course, and the Porygon too. They could set up Trick Room. Could be a really heavy Trick Room team here. Yeah. That's something we need to watch out for. 100%. I'm going to bring Raichu. And... Um, uh, some tricky Pokemon to get rid of as well. Do we just ultra and across my uh, way through this and just just like cheese our way through that way? It might be an option. Um, I probably better bring Evelto to this just as a, a kind of fallback and Tepu Fini as well. Yeah, let's let's do that with these four and uh, let's get into it. I have no idea. This is cool though. I'm I'm down with this team a hundred percent. Yeah. I'm hoping that we get, you know what, I like I was about to say, I'm hoping we get the rules soon for the 2020 season, but I know for a fact it's going to be Worlds, isn't it? It's going to be Worlds, um, but that isn't too far away, but it feels it feels too far away right now. I'm going to see a core lead of a Whimsicott and Kyogre. Uh, I'm just saying a core because these kind of are the most popular Pokemon that you're going to see on any VGC 19 teams at the minute, out of what my opponents brought. It is going to be Primal Kyogre. Um, hmm. Should I just Ultra Burst and just smash the Kyogre? And fake out the Whimsicott. Yeah, let's do it. Or we could just get the Whimsicott. Uh, although Photon guys are into the Kyogre, it's probably a safer option because the Kyogre might not protect. Although it would make sense that we see the Kyogre protect. The Wind's got to try and get a Tailwind up. Um, but yeah, we can't. We can't. Yeah, there's the protect there. That's fine. I mean, we get that. We get as he moves the next turn, so that's that's even better for us. Uh, we'll get the fake out into the Whimsicott. Now, does the Wimmy go for the tailwind of the Trick Room here? That's the thing. Um, I'm going to try and Volt Switch out onto the Oak. Actually, we'll try and Encore the Kyogre. And we'll go for a Z move. Light that burns the sky into Kyogre and try and get. We shouldn't pick up the knockout, but we'll probably get very close. Ah, I'm going to see it switch out. Don't be. Okay. <laughs> it's Porygon. There you go. There it is download it's way chunkier than Porygon 2 like they were like obviously the design they were like yeah it's, it's a bit chunky this one let's slim like let's let's smooth it down we're gonna have to cut this obviously because we're just gonna decimate this Porygon so we'll be right back okay we're going into the Porygon I, it feels like it's too much it's just too much I just feel so bad but the Porygon well, takes it like a champ like a champ 
What are we gonna see this whimsical go for? Trick room. Yeah. There it is. Porygon. It's got the EVO light for sure. Um right, well. Raichu, what are you gonna do? I think we'll bring in Tapu Fini at this point. Um, and we'll go for a Photon Geyser into the Porygon. Try and pick up the knockout there. It could probably it probably does go for recover, I think. Um it is trick room though. So we'll get the Misty train up. Safeguard, man. It's alright, we put the terrain up, it's fine. You don't you don't need it. Gravity, man. What is going on? What is going on? Is that grass with some whimsical? I'm pleased we brought our misty terrain. If it is. We get rid of the Porygon. Porygon looks cool. I know I say it's chunky, but look at the size of it. It just looks it just looks like a cool Pokemon, doesn't it? Like its design is really cool. Um Kyoga coming back in. Right. Well. Well, well, well. What are we going to do now? Mm. Gravity. Um, well. I mean. We can scald. We should take. We should take a water spot from the Kyoga. I'm going to have to target into it. With Necrozma, we should take a water spout. We've got no Nature's Madness on a Finny, which is a little bit of a shame. Because if we did, that would obviously be a good way to uh, to deal with the Dragonite coming in. Shiny Dragonite as well. Oh, it's Calm Mind. Oh, it's Calm Mind. It's Calm Mind. No, we do have uh, we do have Haze though, so it's it's not the end of the world. Um. I'm getting a little bit of damage onto this guy. Man, look at that. Doing nothing. Nothing. That does a nice chunk of damage, doesn't it? That does a nice chunk of damage. Um, Let's haze. And let's just protect with, with Necrozma here. Try and stall these trick room turns out. Because once the trick room ends, I think we should be in a decent enough position. Dragon Rush. Dragonite, going for the Dragon Rush there. Hydro Pump, doubling in, and uh, yeah, doing all the all the things that we don't want to be seeing. Um, Dragon Rush, Dragonite, what? What is this world coming to? Uh, we'll go for an Icy Wind, and we'll switch into... Uh, yeah, let's switch into Raichu. And the match was forfeit. So, I'm going to say a very good game to my opponent. I think we might have had it there in the end. But a very fun team nonetheless. But uh, we are actually going to be able to give this team a really nice send-off today. So, it's been really nice coming back this week. There's been a couple of days where it's been a little bit frustrating with how results have went. But, we can't get too hung up on that. We need to use that information and use it as a valuable tool for improving the team going forward. Now, I haven't really made a decision right now, right here recording if i'm going to continue on this series next week do let me know in the comment section below though if you would love to see this come back um, as a regular at the times that we're doing at the minute alongside the roulette series or if you're not too worried uh, either way it'll be it's been fun and if you do come back next week we'll definitely make some changes to this team if you've got any uh, suggestions as well do let me know down in the comment section below and uh, we'll make those tweaks and make this team great uh, it was never good to start with so we'll make it good to begin with yeah we'll do that yeah not great again it will just be excellent when we finish with it by the next time we come back with it so have a great weekend now guys thank you so much for tuning in as always and i'll see you all for the next one so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye